There's precision. I might leave one of these blank or in pencil. In every piece. And lines, I love lines. As John Gritz pays close attention to detail. Very subtle. Most of his drawings have one thing in common. So I leave something undone in my drawings. There are many promises made to Native people, but they're not kept. And from the government, from the church, from the state, wherever it's from, but it's not kept. So why should I finish anything? If they're going to not finish what they promise us, why should I finish anything? The first unfinished piece was not planned, but it quickly became clear. And I did one piece that was, there was six Native figures, old photo and they had on a roach and some, some feathers and you know, some other regalia on. And I drew the picture, but I left the, the men out. I didn't draw their faces or their bodies or their hands or anything. This is the first, first horse I ever drew. And you can tell what, the, what, the, um, what I left out. The award-winning, well-respected artist. This is from my tribe. I got an, an award for a Lifetime Achievement Award from the tribe. Has a studio full of gifts from those who appreciate the powerful messages he carries. This is me and the president. In 1978. That's the Oval Office. That message in a drawing. And that's when I showed him the peanut. Made its way to President Jimmy Carter. The drawing, I left it undone. And I hid a picture of the peanut in there in his honor, because he's a peanut farmer. So I told the president why I didn't finish. said, because of unbroken um, promises, that, I mean, promises that aren't kept and by treaty rights. And you know, whatever it is, it's just never kept. And then the president took a step back and he said, well, maybe you can come back and finish it someday. I said, well, just call me. Of course, he never called, but, but at least I got his attention and I made a statement to him. The president's attention remains one of his most cherished gifts. I like that because he's laughing at the peanut. His drawings leave something out, but are always filled with pride in his people and hope for future unbroken promises. Victoria De Leon, Nine News. John also incorporates subtle images of native mascots with slashes through them. That's his way of denouncing institutions with ties to native heritage that use those mascots.